At first sight the new 2019 model year Jaguar XE300 Sport, the model's new performance flagship, looks a lot like the XEs we've been seeing on UK roads these past three and a bit years, only quite a bit cooler. The sleek, compact outline is familiar but there are attractive new side sills in a tasteful semi-matte grey also used for the grille surround, the side vents, the exterior mirror caps and the rear valance, giving the car an unshowy but very businesslike appearance. The wheels are grey, too, 19 inches as standard but optional 20s on our test car. Get closer and you'll spot bright new 300 Sport badges on grille and boot lid. Jaguar is reverting to four-cylinder power for its XE Sporting flagship mainly because V6-powered XEs are no longer offered following the arrival of tougher emissions laws, but it's no disaster. The 300 Sport gets a twin-turbocharged 296 bhp version of the 2.0-litre four-pot, whose installation delivers a weight saving of around 40 kilograms compared with the old V6, all of it over the front wheels, which aids the 300 Sports' handling balance. The 296 bhp engine is familiar from Jaguar's entry-level F-type sports car and the 300 sports performance is very similar, it will hit a governed 155 mph and sprint from 0 to 60 mph in a brisk 5.4 seconds, with the 8-speed paddle shift auto. The XE300 Sport comes with a standard all-wheel drive system and, naturally for a sporting Jaguar, it has had its own chassis development program orchestrated by driving guru Mike Cross, who signs off every new model for Jaguarness and joined us as we tried the new car on challenging roads in central Wales, specifically chosen for their variety of corners, surfaces, slopes, cambers and humps that test every nuance of a car's dynamics. The Sport 300 draws influence from other Jaguar Sport models, what with its special badging on the headrests and steering wheel, and its black-themed upholstery and interior trim, given a sporty character with striking yellow stitching. The driver's seat is low and comfortable, with decent side bolsters for the semi-sporting seats, another echo of the F-Type. What strikes you first when you start to drive is this car's versatility. It eases away from the mark with the silent aplomb of a shopping car. In effort and gearing its electric power steering is ideal for maneuvering neatly through traffic and the low-speed ride is supple and impressively quiet. When you're really moving, the 300 Sport still copes brilliantly. The route we drove was pot marked one minute, silky surface the next. Even pulling serious speed, the car was still all about stability, precision and deeply impressive cornering grip. There were places where the adaptive dampers worked better in dynamic mode for best body control, but most of the time comfort was the choice. The steering is perhaps the 300 Sport's best bit. It is very accurate and ideally weighted for every driving condition we encountered, rim effort increasing slightly as cornering force built, but never to become intrusive. Despite the impressive performance claimed for the 300 Sport, it doesn't feel explosive under your right foot. It's best to select the Sport transmission regime for serious driving, and even then there will be times when the car will go that much better if you pull it back another ratio on the paddles. The performance is there, but needs help to be revealed. The finest thing about this car is the way it flows down any road. Point it at any piece of road of any condition and it'll cope as if specifically engineered for it. Mike Cross calls the 300 Sport a real Jaguar and he should know. It's certainly the best driving Jaguar saloon I've been in for years, and the fact that pricing starts at just £45,640, only about £14,000 more than the cheapest XE money can buy, just makes it better.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.